Hi everyone, today I am making this really cute little bunny. Isn't he great? It's like a little basket holding some Easter treats in there. Um, it makes a great table decor, uh, place setting kind of decoration, and it also makes just a good little fun decoration for around the house for Easter time. So stick with me and I'll show you how to make this cute little bunny. <music> To start this project, you will want to print off the bunny template for yourself. The link is in the description and it's free to print it off. And then to get started, you will want to decorate your bunny. So I'm starting with the front side here. I'm going to make a little face, add a few details and then start coloring. I am using pencil crayons for this project. This is a very fun project for your loved one to get involved in. Easter, of course, is a big holiday and decorating the table and making a nice Easter meal, of course, part of our North American traditions for Easter and getting your loved one to participate in the decorations can give them a sense of well-being. It really can be a good confidence booster for them to help out with something like this and will make them feel like they still have a place and value in your family unit. After coloring in the front side, I am just going to flip it over and give a quick color to the back side as well because when it's sitting on the table, the dinner guests that are across from me will be able to see the back side of my bunny, so I just wanted to make sure that both sides are covered. After you have finished coloring your bunny on both the front and the back side, you can cut the bunny out. I'm going to give the bunny a few little folds here to help with the assembly. So you'll see the hips on the bunny look very much like an oval, so I'm going to fold along where the oval would be along the top at the waistline and along the bottom where the legs meet the hips. This will just help the bunny to sit up more easily. After you have those folds made, you can glue the hands together. And then you can put some glue on the legs and tuck them up under the hands. Like so. I'm going to make some green grass for my bunny to hold. They do sell this in craft stores, and I've even seen some at the dollar store where it's like the plastic filler grass, but I have some green paper on hand, so I'm just going to cut lots of little strips of paper to make the grass for myself. And that will make a nice little nest for my Easter treats to sit in. Now I'm just going to add my grass to the bunny and my Easter treats. And now my bunny is ready to be a table decoration. So there you have it, a cute little Easter bunny decoration. I hope that you enjoyed that and that you get your own chance to make these cute little Easter bunnies. They really do look great sitting around the table for Easter time. Um, until next time, have a great Easter and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.